correctly. It was in Southern California, perhaps, maybe south of the border, I don't know, maybe north of the border. I get everything confused. It could be across the pond. But there was this guy that was put under a 72-hour psychiatric observation when it was found that he owned a hundred guns and allegedly had 10,000 rounds of ammunition stored in his home. And my favorite quote from this here dim-wit reporter, Wow, he has a quarter of a million machine gun bullets. And the headline referred to it as a massive weapons catch. Well, I suppose by north or south or south in the California standards, someone owning a hundred thousand rounds of ammunition would be called mentally unstable. Just imagine if he lived somewhere else. Like where, Herman? Like where? <laughs> well, I'll give you some idea. In Arizona and New Mexico, he'd be an avid gun collector. In Arkansas and in Oklahoma, He'd be a novice gun collector. In Utah, he'd be moderately well prepared, but they'd probably reserve judgment until they made sure that he had a corresponding quantity of food stored. In Colorado and Montana, he'd be the neighborhood go-to guy. In Idaho, he'd be called a likely gubernatorial candidate. In Wyoming, he'd be an eligible bachelor. In Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas, he'd be called a deer hunting buddy. And in Alabama, he'd just be a good old boy who was a little short on ammunition. Now we're going.